I say that this is a great uh, advertising for him. And not a single Muslim now in the world, he will not go and see who is this guy, even the one who never heard of him before. You know, we will use Google Translation. So when they make this trend about Zachariah Butros, simply they did help him very much to get his idea through the globe for those who speak Arabic specifically. Actually, you have some videos in English, I think you can watch it too. You can search it. So they try to smear him that he is not presenting the church, that he is not a good Christian, that the church have nothing to do with him, blah, 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 blah. But we know that every single person in the church in Egypt, he appreciated this man very much. And actually, he is the best between all the priests of this church because he's a brave man who exposed the garbage of Muhammad. So for us, let me see if I can find his uh, his picture too, so people will see, or let us say, I will go to YouTube, hold on, and maybe we can find a little video of him in English. This is here an Islamic website uh, this is actually uh, Sky News, sorry, which is owned by uh, Emirat, I believe. Uh, yeah, support this man and always be proud to have a good man like this man. Uh, let us see if we can video of him. We play it in his honor. Yeah, this is him, but I don't know if the video is in English or in Arabic. Let's see this one. Yeah, you can find actually many of his videos here. But I think those are all in Arabic, not in English. Anyway, so he's a very smart person and he have degrees, I think, in the Arabic language too, which make it more horrible to Muhammad than to, to answer him. Uh, uh, he exposed Islam very well and uh, he's a very good man. They will do the same to anyone who exposes Islam. So any, the duty of us as a Christians, anyone who do a great job, we should stand beside him and support him. The Muslim, when they try to fight him actually, Whenever you see the Muslims going against someone, he is a Christian, that means he is doing a good job. If they say to him, God bless you, that means he is a corrupt man. As simple as that. They will never say, God bless you to someone, he is a good person. Let me see if I can find... Uh, yeah, maybe this one is in English. I don't know. This is an old video, maybe. Oh, this is uh, Mars 26. Um, uh, yeah, for everybody, I'm, I'm sorry I've been forgetting to do the English here, but we have been talking about <laughs> if she. <laughs> wow. Abuna, yeah, anyway, so this is uh, this is the uh, a sample of his video. He go on TV, etc. So when the Muslim they say or they go and they gang against somebody, that means he is doing a great job. Support him always. And me myself, I say I have a lot of respect for this man. You know, he's an old man, but he is a truthful. He uh, he took a lot of pressure on him. Uh, even Christians, the church, you know, the, the Christian churches, uh, they became more more into politics. So, because they don't want to be in in trouble with with the Muslims, the terrorists in Egypt, they say, "Oh, he have nothing to do with us." 
but all of us we knew that he is not only he have to do with them he is the best of them so they tried to put him down they tried to make him not a you know not a legitimate person don't listen to him but nobody can refute him as simple as that okay he have interview with david no problem anyway so he's a he's a very humble man anyway and you know look you no know, actually people forgot about him but now because the muslim they made a trend suddenly he became the top of news for everybody so whoever you are you listen to this person support him salute him give him a hug he's a wonderful man this is my message and always always take into consideration when those muhammadan they attack a christian person especially when the attack is big that's mean he did something really good when the muslim they say you see you will never see one muslims attacking james white why because he's a potato he's a false man there's many priests in all churches orthodox protestant and catholic they are praising muhammad saying he's a wonderful man Muslims have no problem with them. Why? Because they are liars. The second you see the truth, you are the enemy. And actually, this is what I say to you. How much they hate you is how much you are truthful. Doesn't matter who you are. They want all our churches to be a church of hypocrisy practicing taqiyya like the muslims taqiyya mean i can lie to you you can lie to me let us let us lie to each other so you see a priest says oh we have no problem with islam islam is a wonderful religion we respect islam and i saw an actor she is supposedly a, a, a coptic uh, uh, actor but the fact she is a whore everybody knows i mean go watch her movies yeah, i am a coptic and i respect islam no you don't and you are not a coptic and you are the christians so suddenly every single whore in the world want to stand against this guy because he is truthful. But if he's a child molester, sheikh, the Muslim, they will not go against him. Like this guy. This guy, as an example, you send your child to the, to the mosque to, to learn Quran. What you do? He raped them. And this is the case all over the mosque in Egypt. A girl, she is nine or 10 years old, and she is one of many of his victims. But this is the one exposed him because, you know, they say that she was bleeding badly. So this good Muslim, Sheikh, he took her inside and he raped her. And why he did that to her? Because she's an orphan. She has no family to complain to. So he said, oh, wonderful. You know, this is just yesterday, but this is the case every day. The mosque is the best place for sexual harassment for children or sexual assault. Because in the in Islamic religion, the, the sheikh have to teach your son how to wash his private part, how to wash his body supposedly to prepare himself to, uh, to the abolition. To the to the prayer, so the sheikh he have an access to your pro, to your to your son or your daughter. So we are proud of this guy. They are attacking him because he is teaching good, not because he's a child molester like Muhammad. Kabich. So this is my opinion, and this is what I say. Um, all right. I think we are done for today. I hope you guys you enjoy your black seed knowledge. And now, because of the black seed, we have no worry. All of you, you will be healthy. You can do whatever you want. You can fly an airplane full of people who have diseases and have bacteria and viruses, all what you need. Take a black seed before you go in the airplane. Or even after. Actually, I'm going to send to European Union the union of the idiots 
and I call it the union of the idiot because uh, <clears throat> it's the, uh, this union is so good to the point they cannot even 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 the one who is out of the union already like England England right now they have a highest alarm severe alarm of terrorism brother they just noticed that England England became the nest of terrorists they just noticed yesterday they just it happened it happened the highest alarm they cannot make a speech in the street nobody can walk safe nobody is safe because of the Islamic terrorism and for sure those who they are in YouTube they have nothing to do with it you know but by the way they will never do terrorism themselves <laughs> they will send the fool to do it so they have the highest the highest the highest brother if you want to stop terrorism give them black seed the Muslim will call down you will heal the illness of Muhammad because Muhammad says it is a healing for every disease and Islam is nothing but a disease so take give them force them to eat a black seed and the terrorist will not be a terrorist no more you can't even walk in the street in England no more because of terrorism you don't know you don't know who's going to take a knife and attack you you don't know who's going to explode a car in, 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 the, in the road for you this is England Not long time ago, those European they used to make speeches in the street. The king of Norway he walked between people. Nobody, he not, no, nobody got. Nobody got. Prime minister go in the train. He's safe. But since the peaceful Islam came, it's very peaceful. You cannot resist the peace of Muhammad. Right? Yeah. <sighs> anyway so I want to say thank you guys for being here and I hope today we had some good knowledge to share with you uh, I will be back and I will do live again when we reach the 20,000 view for this video well, the reason I'm doing that because I notice I do a lot of work and people they just watch the last video the video before it nobody care for it so if I make a new video tomorrow people will not watch this video so I want to be sure at least we have a 20,000 view and we will go live again. So the 20,000 view is to, to, uh, to today, I will go live again. Tomorrow, I will go live again. Two days from now, I will go live again. So share the video with your friends. Tell everybody about the truth. Download the video, post it in your YouTube and let everybody see the truth and the truth will set you free. As you see, Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. He claimed to be a doctor, he claimed to be an astronomer, he claimed to be everything. Muhammad, he know everything. But in reality, Muhammad is the idiot of the village. And the Muslims, in order to fix his stupidity, they have to add words and they have to defend it by fabrication. And we laugh at it. Search for bombshell Ahmad Al-Kabinji. Ahmad Al-Kabinji. I think the name in English is coming weird. I know, I know what you are talking about. You know those bombshell is kind of a funny bombshell in the news They say bombshell to make people watch it, right? I know the person I made a video about him Yeah, I Know the person you're talking about Yeah, but I, I don't agree with him too, you know, it doesn't mean if he is speaking something You know horrible about Islam and he's a sheikh but doesn't mean that he is right in many things because at the end of the day, this guy he's saying that Quran is corrupted and Islam is not like this. You know what I mean? So still he's saying Islam is good, but not the Islam we have today. So who care? Not bomb, not bomb. Bombshell, 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 yeah, bombshell. Bomb bombshell. Uh, you mean this video with Zach with the uh, Zachariah Batros? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so uh share the share the link with your friends and let us have a view. And as you know, I don't keep my videos for long, I take them down. But always you can search, you can have your own archive by subscribing to others and downloading the videos even from me here now or from them. So you can have the topic which always you need to refute somebody about something. Muhammad obviously is a fraud. He never said something truthful. 
he is not even good to be smart to the dummies. Even the dummies did not believe in him. In order for Muhammad to make people believe in him, he forced them to believe in him. This is why we see in the Quran, it says that those who don't believe in Muhammad, they are going to face people of mighty power. They will kill them. And he was speaking to the Arab. So the message to the Arab is convert or die. And when those Arab, they converted to Islam and they said to Muhammad, we believe. Muhammad, he said to them, you believe not. If you go to chapter 48, verse number 16, Muhammad, he warned those Arab, if you don't believe in me, I will slaughter you all. All. This is Quran 48, 16. Then when those Arab, they converted to Islam, Quran 49, 14. Those people, they say, we believe. Allah said to them, you do not believe. But you should say rather, we are Muslims, not submitted. This is a false translation. We are surrender. We surrender to Islam. So how they became Muslims? If they don't believe, will they surrender? That's why Islam is not a religion of belief. Islam is a religion of surrender. Those who say to you Islam means submission is a liars or they are ignorant. Those who don't speak Arabic, they are ignorant. They don't know. But in reality, the word is we surrender. Here we go. Even the Muslim translation. So don't say we believe. So what we say? Say we surrender. They surrender war. For faith has not yet entered your heart. So how they became Muslims? By war. But if you obey Allah and his messenger, it's okay. So what Islam want? Islam don't care if you believe or not. They want a bunch of people who turn themselves into puppies. So they obey Muhammad and they will become his slaves. Islam don't care for believing. You believe or not, who care? Join Islam and surrender or we will kill you. And the proof in the front of your eyes. Chapter 49, 14. Don't say we believe. But those are Muslims. How Muhammad even accept people to say to him, we are Muslims, when he knew that they are not believers because Muhammad is a fraud. You cannot say that to Jesus. Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Muhammad saying, everyone say to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my God, even if you don't believe in him. The opposite. <laughs> here you see the fraud here you see the stupidity so number one you need to correct yourself regarding this when somebody says to you Islam means submission like I saw David Wood saying that but I understand David Wood he is copying what he heard in English Islam does not mean submission Islam means to surrender Aslim Taslam clear Arabic no submission it is surrender and war. So they surrender to Muhammad. They put their weapon down. They cannot defend themselves. You are defendless in front of Islam. That will make you a Muslim. You say the Shahada, yeah, that will make you a Muslim. But doesn't mean you need to be a believer. No. In Islam, all what they want from you, say Shahada, obey Muhammad, became a puppy. And that is all the requirement for Islam is nothing but a gang. Join the gang. Right? So, my friend, I say to you, thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And Ante, we see you soon again. And don't forget to share the link and get us more view. 20,000 is needed so we can go live again. And this is my uh, uh, good time with you today. I hope I was able to serve. The Muslims, because we love them, we don't hate them. We believe Islam is an evil cult, but we believe there's many and many and many good Muslims there who don't believe in Muhammad. They don't just want to live like everybody. And those, they can make a difference. So we invite all the Muslims who they are Muslims by name. They don't want to surrender to the garbage of Muhammad. They don't believe that beating wife is going to solve a problem of a family. That will not solve a problem, my friend. Terrorism is start from home. 
A man beating his wife is a terrorism. Islam is religion of terrorism. And terrorism starts from the house. Go to the street and then go to the community. That is Islam. So don't join the religion of terrorism. Believe in the Lord of mercy and the Lord of peace. That is the Messiah. The most time they will say to you, oh, don't you know that Jesus says, I did not come to bring peace? Continue the verse, you idiot. It says that peace will not be for us, the Christians, because we follow him, which means you are the one who is going to attack us, not the opposite. We will be killed, Jesus said. Time will come and people will be killing you, thinking they are doing favor to God. Which God is that? That is the truth. So thank you very much. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it every time. Thank you.